Friends, thank you for watching my channel. I just want to remind you if you need wallpaper, go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Tell them Spencer sent you. In fact, if you use my hashtag, Spencer Colgan is wallpaper, they'll be sure to give you a 10% off at your checkout. No matter how much you order, they have a wide selection of wallpaper. Check it out. Tell them I said hello. Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan is Wallpaper. This is a faux cork wall covering. It's an MDC. The pattern is, if you like it, workroom gilded restoration elements. It's a very good product for school campuses and um, things of that nature, heavy traffic. So, we're on an outside obtuse angle. Not only that, we're finishing on an outside obtuse angle. It's a lot easier to end on a 90. What do I mean by a 90? Let's show them right here. It would be nice if my wallpaper were ending here and I simply cut right up against this corner. But that's not the case. So let's bring them over to this... Um, unique situation and let's attack the problem first of all so that's our obtuse angle we have to cut the wallpaper along that corner without doing this so how do we do it well we need a sharp retractable blade and secondly we need super tack paste which I have put on the wall, not necessarily the wall covering, to make the cut perfect. Otherwise, the wallpaper will slide. If you're just using heavy duty clear paste, you won't get the same result. It needs to bond so that it's less inclined to move. And so we did that already. Spencer, where do you get your super tack paste? Well, I'll tell you when the company starts paying me to mention their name in my videos. Uh, if you really need to know, just send me an email on my YouTube website. So I'm inclined to first press, just keep the camera right there, and I'm gonna just show them how. I wanna push any excess paste out, anything excess, Again, we'll have a sliding issue. We want it nice and tight. Secondly, I think what I'm going to do is add a little heat so that, again, we want it to adhere just to the corner. If it's moving around, if it's loose, what we'll do is we'll get a nice sharp cut and then when we put it in place, we'll see that we're an eighth of an inch over, it's wavy, so let's keep the... So now, we're just going to add heat to the area where the corner will be. I'm moving quickly. I can see the effect of the heat. I'm watching. I don't want it too much. It's just warm. Okay. So now, don't be afraid to make your cut in sections. So let's try it. We want a long blade. If you can just come in here, I want them to see that it gets kind of messy. If you can just come behind me, I want them to see what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna go on an angle start that cut and as you can see I'm using the wall as my guide and now you can understand why the wallpaper has to be attached on the other side of this corner to the wall because if it's not we're gonna have a nice pat on the back for having tried but failed.
You know, you always got to pat people on the back when they try. But when you're paying them, you give them a pat on the back and a kick in the, you know. So, you understand? So we can't fail here. I'm just going to continue doing what I said I was going to do while I tell you about a nervy comment on my last YouTube video. A lady thought it necessary to tell me how arrogant I was on, uh, what video was it? And it was a good one. I was being nice. I was being really nice. It's a popular video. She said, I had to forward through this thing. She wrote a tome, T-O-M-E. Anyway, you know what I did? I corrected her comment, which was four sentences long, the size of, a, of an iPhone at that long. So I said, excuse me. Uh, I hate to correct your comment, but since you think I'm so condescending, The nerve of people. I said, you, I said, if you didn't forward through, you would have seen that I was joking. I joke with my viewers. Anyway. True story. I had to fast forward. You're so condescending. Move on. Go watch somebody else's video. All she did was help my rating on YouTube. The more you write, the better it is for me. So I'm hoping she answers, so, so my ratings go up. Anyway, uh, like I said, don't be afraid to do this in sections. Um, I don't wanna, you see, if I fail at this, I don't post the video, so you guys think I always succeed. If this does great, I'm gonna post this video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do it. Now, see, I'm reversing the direction of my blade because, you know, my position changed. And if I'm fair and honest with you, my cut is overlapping the corner. It's not perfect. And that's because it's higher now, so we got to do more surgery. So now I take the blade and I do that. Now, before you go giving me all the credit, I have to give credit to the university, the Colgan University for wallpaper hanging and removal. The professor was over the top, but he was very good. And um, the school was great. It was very reasonably priced. And uh, Spencer Colgan, the guy who runs it, is he's top notch. I don't know where he learned his stuff, but the guy's excellent. Okay, so, I love it. So please show them from here. Show them from there. Look at that cut, folks. Can you go up and down so they don't think we're deceiving them? Look at how pretty it is. Oh, don't you love it? Now, if you have imperfections, let's bring them down here too so they can see this. If you have imperfections in in the straightness of your, your obtuse angle, well, your wallpaper will simply uh, follow those imperfections. Now, if you didn't do very, very well and you're over your corner, extend your blade and use it like this and go back and forth. 
the only thing you're going to wind up slicing is the paint. So you do this. Don't be afraid. You can do it. Okay, that's how you cut wallpaper on an outside obtuse angle where the wallpaper dies into the corner. Not an easy task. Okay, we'll clean this up and show you the final result on the next frame. The magnolia is laying. Let's show them from this side.